2016 was a record year of revenue and earnings for my company, so uh, by all measures, a really good year. Um, we spent a lot of our time focusing on integrating our data acquisitions, which were new to us, and finalizing really the infrastructure that we've been building out for the New York Stock Exchange acquisition. In 17, um, we're gonna be able to take some of the things that we've built now and put them into the marketplace, so that's much more exciting uh, because we're gonna be able to deal with customers and get feedback and, and iterate on some of the things we've built. Um, this idea that ICE has uh, in the data space is really uh, because you know, we have exchanges, and uh, not only do exchanges produce data, but today a trader is going to make a very informed decision when they're managing risk, and they're consuming a lot of information. Uh, obviously more algorithms, there's more checks and balances in the system before people make trading decisions, more regulatory and compliance oversight. All of that is a part of an ecosystem that we're uh, feeding into that helps risk management and ultimately trading on our exchanges. We built some tools, for example, to uh, uh, use estimates and algorithms to, to estimate where the bid and offer should be in certain markets so that a trader before making a decision can look at our estimates. And uh, also the compliance team and people in the mid and back office can look at those estimated prices and, and give that trader permission uh, from both a compliance standpoint and a risk management and clearing capital management standpoint. We see a lot of challenges. There's a lot of change uh, going on in the world. You know, uh, the Trump election may change the U.S. complexity, a number of elections in Europe, Brexit, uh, all of these things are inputs into risk management, but they're also the opportunities for uh, us as an industry. Uh, people are going to need to navigate through that. They're going to need to manage their risk. And so none of us can control these external major factors and trends, but all of us can, can contribute towards making customers have a better environment for which to navigate those issues when they come up. And that's where I think uh, we're going to grow and as a company. I think our industry is going to continue to grow as a result of these extrogenous th issues that are in the world. I think the pie is going to grow partly because we as an industry keep making our services more and more accessible. You know, it's, uh, uh, you've got a, most likely a smartphone in your pocket that today can really grab a lot of information that you can trade on it, you can communicate with other people. And we carry that around with us 24 hours a day. You're, you, you look at it the last thing before you go to bed, you look at it the first thing when you wake up in the morning. And so, uh, you know, feeding into that kind of attitude that our customers are having, which is the consumption of information and decision making in real time, is what's going to continue to grow our industry.